Hi guys, it's Kiarko here, back with another speed build. This is a speed build of a Victorian manor, which was requested by Robin. Thank you so much for this request. Um, this is actually a speed build of the house I'm going to be using in my Let's Play series, which is called A Series of Simfortunate Events. Um, so thank you so much for this request, because it fit in perfectly with, with uh, what I was planning to do for my Let's Play, so... Yay. <laughs> um, but uh, as you can see, it is a Victorian manor. As I explained in my last video where I built the Kingsley family, who is the family that's going to be living here, um, this uh, Let's Play series doesn't really have a particular time period that it exists. Um, and that's because I was taking inspiration from the uh, movie of a series of unfortunate events in that you can't really tell what time period any anything takes place in. Um, there's a whole bunch of, what is it called, anachronisms? Anachronism? You know what I'm talking about? Where things don't exactly fit the time period. You know, people's costumes were a little bit confusing. There's different, like, kind of technology being used. You just really couldn't tell um, when that movie was taking place. And just to be clear, I've only seen the movie of a series of, of unfortunate events. I've never seen the TV show and I've never read the books. Um, and like I said in my previous video, uh, the Let's Play series is not um, a recreation of the movie. It's not an exact story um, version of the movie. As you can see, I already, you know, the, the family has a different name. They're different characters. Um, I just took inspiration from the idea that these kids are, you know, sadly going to be orphaned pretty early on in the series, not to spoil it, but that's kind of what happens. Um, and then they are moved around to all these different houses, they meet all these different crazy characters. Maybe there'll be a mystery element. Now, I'm not quite sure yet how I'll incorporate that into the Let's Play series, but um, we'll, we're definitely going to have a lot of fun with it. So this is the house that we're going to start off with. Um, it is the Kingsley family home and it is Victorian inspired. Um, I really like how this turns out. I think it's going to be really fun to play with. Um, <laughs> if you guys are familiar with the series of unfortunate events and if you remember how that uh, story begins, we may not be staying at this house very long. It's probably gonna kind of be a pile of ash pretty quickly. Um, but I did want to, you know, spend time building it to create a home for these people to, you know, really give life to the story. Um, and, you know, depending on where the story goes, maybe we'll revisit this home. We'll see. But yeah, so <laughs> I'm just putting it together right now. Um, as you can see, it's quite a large home because, you know, everyone has their own bedroom. And I really did imagine that this family is very, very wealthy. Um, you know, in the in the movie, I'm pretty sure that they're also pretty wealthy. I think that's part of the whole storyline is that Count Olaf is like trying to steal their inheritance or whatever. Um, so obviously they're <laughs> very rich. Look how big this house is. It's a beautiful house. I love that um, checkered pattern I chose for the, the porch. I think it's so cool. I really like that wood. And I used a lot of different um, windows, some new custom content that I downloaded particularly for this house. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to figure out my roofing situation here. I kind of put this roof over the porch as like a, a cover up. Um, yeah, it looks very pretty. I like this. I like the little tower part of this Victorian because I, I feel like when I was looking at a lot of um, images of Victorian homes for like inspiration for this build, a lot of them have like little towers like this where it has like a, um, a cone shaped roof like that. I'm not sure why that is or why that's like a reoccurring thing with, with uh, Victorian architecture, but that's just what I noticed. So I made sure to include one of those um, in this build. But I'm just putting a little, let's see, a little rocking chair on the porch now. I'm going to put a little table there, and you'll see in a second, I'm going to put a little pie on the table. Um, I really wanted this place to feel very homey, because even though they're very, very rich, obviously, um, I wanted it to be clear that they're not, like, snotty people. They're not snobby in, in any sort of way. They're very... Um, family-oriented, very grounded people. Even though they live in this massively rich house, they're still um, very close as a family, very um, intelligent, very cool people. So check out uh, the character build that I released yesterday if you want more um, details about, you know, what type of people these are, their characters and stuff. Um, but we'll talk about that throughout this video. Um, for example, the father is a writer um, and the mother is an archaeologist. So you'll see later on I give the father his own study um, where he can, you know, type his books and I gave the mother her own like little archaeology room where she can do archaeology stuff. I don't know. I'm not an archaeologist. You'll see it later on. It's pretty cool. It's got some like bones and stuff in it. It's it's pretty neat. Um, but I really like the exterior of this home. Um, just to be clear, this is a video of the exterior, the interior of this home um, I'll release tomorrow. 
I usually don't post on weekends, as you guys know, um, but again, like whenever I do a two part or multiple part uh, video, I like to release them back to back because I don't want to split them up <laughs> with a weekend. <laughs> I just want you guys to be able to watch them all the way through without, you know, interruptions like that. Um, so that will be out tomorrow, the interior of this build, which is turns out pretty well, pretty good <laughs> also. So I hope you guys check that out. I really like the color scheme of this home. I feel like it's very like warm and friendly and you got these like yellow flowers on the outside. It's just very homey. I don't know. I would love to live here. I feel like, I don't know, I, I've said this multiple times, but I have like a lot of different dream homes in my head. Like I don't have one dream home. I have like many different dream homes, you know, like there's my uh, dream home that's like a brownstone in New York. There's my dream home, which is like a really cool like apartment in Tokyo. There's my dream home, which is this Victorian home out in the countryside. You know, like I have so many different versions in my head of, of you know, what I would eventually like to, to live in. Um, and probably none of them will ever come true, but you know, it's fun to dream. Hopefully all of them come true. That would be amazing if I could have like all those dream homes. But at the same time, I don't think I'm someone who needs multiple homes. I think that's over excessive, but you know, maybe like a an Airbnb or something I'll, I'll make um, and I'll be there sometimes. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, um, but yeah. Anyways, I'm just setting up the outside here. You can see I put some stuff on the side. They are eventually gonna have their own little garden where they can grow their own food. Um, but that's really just for decorative purposes. In the game, that like little garden patch doesn't actually have like a function to it, so. <laughs> It's just for decorative pur purposes. Um, you'll also see that they get their own little chicken coop, which is also for decorative purposes. Because um, <laughs> the chickens are just going to be like little statues while I'm playing the game. They're not really going to move or anything. Uh, so it might look a little bit weird, but I think it's cute. I like the idea of them just having their own chickens, but you'll see that later on. Anyways, I'm just putting in my greenery now, just, you know, figuring out what the exterior of this lot's going to look like. You know, what the plant life's going to look like. You can see me putting in some mushrooms here. I love putting in mushrooms. I don't know why. They're just so cute. I just love the game the game mesh of the mushrooms. I think they're so adorable. Um, and I really like using them to like really make a space seem like homey and cozy. I don't know why. That's just like my perception of mushrooms like that, like little toadstools, is that they're associated with like hominess and coziness in my brain at least. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so they got those little mushrooms everywhere. Um, anyways, this is uh, like the car that I'm putting down for them. You can see it's like a cool, really vintage, like old fashioned car. And this kind of goes back to the whole thing of like not knowing what time period this takes place in. Cause I really wanted to, you know, feel free in the decisions I was making with interior design, with choosing technology, with choosing like uh, character costumes and stuff like that. I really wanted to just have like total free range. So I didn't really worry um, about making it one time period or another. So it's not necessarily modern times. It's not necessarily old fashioned. It just kind of exists in a, a weird, <laughs> Uh, place in time where everything kind of exists at once. So, uh, for example, if you look at the character build that I did at the family, the mother kind of has this really cool, like old fashioned, like uh, frocky uh, lace top that looks like it's from the 1800s, which is so cool. Um, and then other characters are just a little bit more modern or a little bit more old fashioned. It's just the time period is all over the place and I love it. It's just so fun. Um, but let me know if you guys have any ideas or anything you want to see during the Let's Play. Um, I'm not, <laughs> you know, I really should have thought this out more before I like went and started talking to you guys about it. Um, I have like an idea of what I'm going to be doing. Like I have like a plan, um, but it's not like a super solid plan. Like all I know right now is that what I want for this Let's Play is just the general idea of a series of unfortunate events in that these children are orphaned, unfortunately, uh, very early on in life. Um, the house burns down, uh, which I'm probably just spoiling the whole story right now, but you guys are probably familiar with the story. Um, and uh, the kids are going to be moved to a whole bunch of different houses, like I said earlier. You're going to meet a whole cast of wacky characters, stuff like that. The part that I'm unsure about for this Let's Play is the mystery element, because in a series of unfortunate events, obviously they're being uh, followed um, and stalked by Count Olaf, who's trying to, you know, kill off their uh, guardian so he can get their inheritance, or whatever the story is. Um, I'm not sure how to implement that, like, gameplay-wise, with having, like, a villain character who's, like, not part of the household and, like, have them like kill other si like I'm not sure how I could do that so I would really appreciate um, if you guys have any tips or you know 
if you guys are okay with the storyline just being them moving around until um, uh, Cordelia, the eldest, like grows up and can take care of them and stuff like that, just let me know where you would like to see the storyline go. Or maybe we'll just, we'll wing it. We'll just say, you know, fuck it. We'll just <laughs> see what happens in the storyline. Um, but that is the build. It's a very, very beautiful house. You can see the interior will be out tomorrow. Please check it out. Um, a lot of a lot of character notes in the interior of the build. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.